Magic Man from Lubbock, Texas. What is that? This is a cotton bale from, a cotton. it's a miniature cotton bale actually, from Lubbock, Texas, Texas Tech University. Oh. Uh, it's about the amount of cotton that it would take to make a cotton t-shirt, and I wanted to hand it to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> did, you did, did you ever think about just picking up a t-shirt or? <laughs> <laughs> Now, you work with cotton, right, to yes. make it better. Yes, that's exactly right. That's exactly, uh, we work to try and make it uh, finer, longer, stronger, those sorts of things. Oh, you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Are you ready to play? Yes. All I right, am. let's play Millionaire. <laughs> Quiet, this is for $100. Which of these elements in the periodic table was named after an important historical figure? Californium, Einsteinium, Neptunium, Ryan Seacrestium. <laughs> <laughs> that, that last one might show up someday, but I know that as of right now, B. Einsteinium is actually an element and named after Albert Einstein. B. Final answer. Yes, sir. Einsteinium is it. You have $100. Go so for 200 Ryan. What Simon and Garfunkel song mentions monkeys, giraffes, elephants, orangutans, zebras, and antelopes? Mrs. Robinson, The Boxer, at the zoo, bridge over troubled water. I don't know for sure, but if I were going to guess based on the question, I'd have to say C at the zoo. That makes sense. You got it right for $200. <laughs> Going to $300 here, Wyatt. The internet domain suffix dot arrow denotes websites related to which of these industries? Aviation, fashion, medicine, publishing. I'm going to go ahead and go with A, aviation, final answer. Good choice. You have $300 for it. To 500. A health conscious article in the May 2007 Glamour magazine cautioned, once and for all, there's no such thing as a safe what? Haircut, tan, manicure, massage. Health conscious. And I think I actually even remember this story coming out. I'm going to go ahead and say B, tan, final answer. Yes, sir, it is a tan. $500. Going for $1,000, Wyatt. In real estate lingo, buying a house with the intention of quickly reselling it for a profit is called what? Plowing, cropping, tumbling, flipping. If I come down, I, I think about plowing is to tear it up, cropping, Maybe picking, something you might do with cotton, <laughs> tumbling. But flipping is to take something maybe with low, at low cost and to turn around and make a fast profit on it. And so I'm going to go ahead and say D, flipping, final answer. Hey, you thought it out and you're absolutely right. <laughs> Capital One check for $1,000. Great job so far. You haven't seemed nervous at all, but I, I understand that when you get tense, you release that tension by making a sound like a bicycle horn. Is that correct? That's correct. Excuse me? Okay. So, all right. So, if it gets bad, you will simply... Hutton. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, are you ready to play? I am ready. All right, let's keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> For $2,000. See what you get when you come to this show, <laughs> Featured in three of his movies, what actress has Quentin Tarantino referred to as his muse? Juliette Lewis, Rosanna Arquette, Uma Thurman, Lucy Liu. Quentin Tarantino. Do you know his movies? I do know his movies. Oh. I know some of his movies. Okay. But I don't know all of them. Okay. And I know one lady in particular that was in two of them, and I think was in a third. And 
I'm gonna go ahead and have to go with C, Uma Thurman. Final answer. That's his muse, all right. He got it for $2,000. for 4,000, Wyatt. Assalamu alaikum, which means peace be unto you, is a traditional greeting among whom? Muslims, Orthodox Jews, Buddhists, Hindus. I think that this is probably just the right thing for me to ask the audience on. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask the audience. Okay, audience, Wyatt needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 81% of this audience believes it is Muslims. Next closest is Orthodox Jews at 16%. Excellent. That's a great numbers right there, and I'm certainly going to go ahead and go with the audience and say, A, Muslims, final answer. And assalam alaikum to you. You got it right for four. Oh. And we are back with Ryan McMahon from Lubbock, Texas. $4,000 going for eight. Two lifelines still sitting up there looking pretty. Are you ready to keep playing? I certainly am. All right, then let's play. Wyatt, this is for $8,000. To the chagrin of many fans, the 2007 finale of The Sopranos ended with Tony engaging in what decidedly unmob-like activity? Fixing a flat tire, trimming hedges, eating onion rings, watching 60 Minutes. Hmm. Did you see it? No. Okay. I actually have a pretty fair idea. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do the 50-50. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Is your idea still sitting there? My idea is still sitting there. That's good. Which gives me a 50-50 chance. Exactly. On it. <laughs> B, final answer. Oh, Wyatt. No, it was eating onion rings. I'm sorry, but you came to play. I did. And that's oh. That means we're out of time. Why, if you just sit right there, it was a pleasure to have you here. There's your check for $1,000. Thank you so much. But you watch tomorrow, okay? Because yes, we're coming will. back. And until then, thank you guys for joining us as well. New York